I think the league made a change because they went more global. That's why they had to change the league for the for the players who were not physical to come in the game, the guys who like to shoot three. I hate it. I dislike it. Yes. We we want to play every single game. We couldn't wait to get out there on the court. Mm -hmm. I agree with the statement 100%. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar should be furious at the NBA for literally screwing him over. Let me explain. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is considered one of the best NBA players to play the game ever. The man played 20 seasons and a total of 1,560 regular season games, not counting playoffs. Over the years, there have been between 4,000 to 5,000 players in the NBA. That's from the beginning of the league. Remember this number. So let's just look at Kareem a second. His career averages are 24.6 points per game. 20th all time out of that 4,000 to 5,000 players. 2.6 blocks, which makes him 8th overall all time out of that 4 to 5,000 players. 11.2 rebounds a game makes him 25th overall all time also out of that 4,000 to 5,000 players. The man has six titles. Only 12 other players in history have six titles or more. 12. Kareem has two finals MVPs, six season MVPs, 11 all defensive selections, and an overall amazing Hall of Fame career. His best statistical season was in 1971-72. That season, which was only his third as well, he posted these numbers. Sit down for this. 34.8 points per game. 16.6 rebounds a game. 4.6 assists. And shot 57% from the field. Incredible. The most important thing in all of this is that he achieved all of these accolades and got those hard-earned stats while playing in arguably the most physical late 70s and 80s eras. The 70s in which Kareem played was arguably the most competitive out of all the eras, as in 10 years, 8 different teams won the NBA title. He had the all-time points scored record for over 30 years, and the NBA changed the rules so much that his record got overtaken and beaten by a guy that has played in the arguably softest era of basketball ever. LeBron James is a great talent, but the rule changes allowed him to have an easier time to get higher stats. There's no question about that. Just to put this in perspective, in the 70s and early 80s, the NBA didn't even have a flagrant foul rule to protect attacking players from getting their heads ripped off. While in this era, the defender has to be protected by the NBA, implementing an anti-flopping rule to protect defending players from attacking, flopping, and pretending to get fouled players because there is no defense being played and they don't actually get fouled much, so they have to pretend to. We have seen players falling to the ground like they have been literally knocked out by the defender while they were never even touched. It doesn't get any softer than that. Then we also have resting, load management. Save up your money, buy some tickets for your kids, and then they go to see their favorite player, and he's just resting. I hate it, I just like it. Michael, I was just at Michael Jordan's 60th birthday party. He pulled me to the side. And you know, we talked about that for 30 straight minutes. <laughs> yes. We, we want to play every single game. We couldn't wait to get out there on the court. Mm -hmm. And it's about your ego, your passion, your love for the mm -hmm. game. It's about those fans who, like you said, pay yeah. their hard earned earn money to watch you play yeah. this game of basketball. Now, the players literally care more about money than the game or the fans. Just look at the All-Star game as an example. You don't believe me that this current NBA doesn't play almost any defense? I think it's just not a lot of defense being played. It's just, it's, it's 
teams are scoring like it's freaking 1960s or 70s. Like it's just it's 132 to 112, 142 to 121. It's just like there's no defense. Like. This softest cottonelle tissue that the league has turned itself into. And then someone's like, well, he doesn't guard nobody. I said, who does? At the end of the day, the game right now is the first to 125. Yeah. The NBA, like you said, the game just changed so much. It's hard to watch. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, it's yes. hard to watch because nobody's playing defense. There's a lot of shots, and it's just like, for me, it's like going to play pickup. Like, it's like we go play pickup in the summer. Like, you get a bucket, get a bucket. So LeBron is the tough guy standard in the weakest and least physical league ever. More of a finesse game. It's more of, you know, small ball. You know, I mean, it's which personally I don't really care much for. I mean, I like kind of smash mouth, you know, old school basketball because that's what I grew up watching. You know what I mean? And um, you know, I also think it's it's much much less physical. I mean, some of the flagrant fouls that I see called nowadays is just makes me nauseous. I mean, you can't you can't touch a guy without it being a flagrant foul. What the heck is that really worth compared to how Kareem and Mike got it done? I mean, look at the competition this man plays against, for God's sake. LeBron can have the numbers and totals, but he's doing it against much less competition than Kareem had all of his career. That's why we see all these records being broken. That's why we have consecutive weeks with players scoring over 70 points at one time this season. That's why we have games with scores like 140 to 129 just recently. Mark my words, a few more years and rule changes in the same direction and Wilt's 100 point game record is going bye bye as well. That is why I'm saying that guys like Kareem should be angry at this because these people are ruining the NBA by allowing amazing records to be broken mostly because the game has simply become much easier to play. Hey, the game just changed so much it's hard to watch. It also has gotten boring as half the shots in every game today are threes. You got guys like John Wall saying no one's playing defense anymore and it's like playing street ball basketball. You got Mike Miller saying no one plays defense these days. You also got Kyrie Irving saying the same. Are they all lying all of a sudden? You have Charles Oakley who coached in the NBA for two you know years. What? Coaching? And, and, and the, watching NBA translates to a different space. Yeah. It was okay, but the guys didn't want to work on their game. Yes, they didn't want to work on their game. I'm good as a, I don't want to work on no post move. I'm shooting job. I said, you never know what position. Be ready for the moment. Anything can happen in the game. So it's more almost like a daycare. You got to babysit these guys to get them to do something. They're getting paid to do it. Like, are you serious? There also has been an idea floating around that the NBA is doing this on purpose to make the league really global. I think the league made a change because it went more global, mm. European, European. So when I played back in the 80s and 90s, uh, people always talk about the glory days, but you might have 2% European players, now you got 33%. So the money value is is global, so that's why they had to change the league for the, for the players who were not physical to come in the game, the guys who like to shoot three. Personally, I think the last really old school tough players we had were Kobe, Kevin Garnett, Shaq, Rashid Wallace, and guys like that. These were competitive monsters, tough every night. Today's players are just not that, and that's what a true basketball fan loves. Toughness, true grit, passion, love for the game, and especially respect for the NBA fans, and we're missing that in today's NBA as well. That is also the reason that true rivalries disappeared. Kareem should be furious. He should speak on it as well and not be politically correct. It's so terribly annoying that so many people are just so politically correct these days and will not say something just because it can offend someone or show a league or a business in its current status in a bad light. It is literally a no-brainer that because the league is so much softer and geared towards easier and higher scoring that that will surely lead to simply breaking all old records which were achieved through a much tougher grind than now. Don't get me wrong, today's players are super talented and very skilled, but they have a much easier way to average 20 or 30 points a game, to score more points in their careers, 
to have more assists and have every statistic elevated because of the rule changes that were implemented into the game. Yes, the game changes, that's true. But comparing records in an era that could have gotten you paralyzed for going to the basket and the one where you flop to look like you're fouled to get a free throw is just ridiculous. Now, if you want to see an interesting opinion from Michael Jordan and Charles Oakley on an approach to the game of today's players, then watch the video on the left. If you'd like to see why Michael Jordan's titles are worth more than Bill Russell's, watch the video on the right.